What's going on guys? Today I'm doing a quick video about how to handle my Asian forest scorpion. I'm doing this video because I got a couple comments on asking for tips about how to handle them and just getting over that initial fear. And what I always tell people is that, think of it, it's gonna be less than a bee sting if they sting you. They're really unlikely to sting you unless they're, unless they're really fearing for their lives. And I also tell people to just watch a bunch of videos about people handling scorpions. So hopefully this will help some people get over that initial fear. And really that initial fear, the first time holding it, getting it on your hand is the biggest challenge. So this is my 10 gallon aquarium that I keep my scorpion in. It's an aquarium that I just filled about halfway with substrate and added a few hides. I've changed it over time, so really I've just kept this hide and my scorpion likes to hide underneath this piece of wood. You can see I have a couple crickets around here. But so first thing, I will remove this piece of wood just to expose him. So my scorpion is right there. So I can totally understand why people would get pretty timid about trying to pick this up for the first time. It's extremely large and just kind of really intimidating looking. Um, Asian forest scorpions, emperor scorpions, any other large scorpions, I would do the same handling method. This is an Asian forest scorpion from the genus Heterometris. So generally what I do is I have a couple tools I take with me. This is just aquarium landscaping tools. And this is kind of my favorite one. And I do a method where I just kind of use this tool to brush the scorpion onto my hand. So whenever you touch the scorpion, they will usually react by turning towards whatever's touching them. So I will touch from this side and push it back towards my hand. It can be kind of difficult depending on the position of the scorpion. Um, but usually if you have enough space just to put your hand behind it and then be able to brush on, uh, it's fine. Now a lot of videos you'll see, they'll say to pick it up by the stinger right there. And I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of that because it's just really scary to get near that stinger. Uh, another thing to note is they will have their claws open like this. And that's just kind of typical of what they do. Don't think of that as them being um, in a threat posture or already in aggressive nature. So that's just kind of how they keep their claws a lot. So if it has its claws wide open towards you, you know, trying to pinch you or whatever, keeping them open, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's really, really aggravated. So I like to try and get it on my left hand. So I kind of just put it back here. And I'll show you what I mean by if I do this, he'll turn around the other side, but since I've already got him in position, um, I just will do this, back him up onto my hand actually don't know the gender of this one. And honestly, it's just as easy as that. So now once you have it here, I mean, they're pretty tame once they're on you. It might be a little jumpy at first, but you know, keep away from the stinger end. You know, even if I put my fingers in the claws, he's not gonna try and pinch me right here, you see. I mean, I found that they're only gonna pinch if they're trying to eat or if they are fearing for their life. Really, I would think I would have to squeeze this scorpion pretty hard till I'm about to crush it before it would try and sting me. Because they really don't want to use this stinger that much. Um, a lot of people get stung because they have scorpions in their shoes. Or they, you know, you put your shoe on, they're about to get crushed and they're kind of their last resort. They can sting you. So if they're in your shoes or you step on them or something, they are likely to sting you. But with big scorpions such as this one, they're pretty hardy so you can handle them pretty well and once they're on your hand i mean it's not really that much you can do mine doesn't really want to walk between hands so it, i mean he'll just kind of chill here until i don't know until you want to put him back but i try and do this every so often your scorpion is not going to recognize you it's not going to know oh you're the one who feeds him they can't get that sort of connection with their handler or their owner but it's still good to handle them if you want to handle them more often, just because it's gonna make it easier for you, just so you don't have to re-overcome that initial fear. So, I mean, you can kind of just move them around. Well, it's pretty jumpy. Yeah, they, they are fast, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know what more to say. Once you have them here, I mean, I just kind of let them chill on me. Maybe I'll put them on my leg or something, but yeah, if you do touch them, they will react, just like you saw, but he kind of held on. So, there's something else I'll show you. I got a bunch of crickets in here. Let's see if I can find one. Because if your scorpion is not ready to eat, 
they're really not going to pinch their food. So let me see if I can get one here. I've got a bunch of discoid roaches, crickets in here, so should be able to find something. Come on. I don't want to crush it because I want them to still survive in this tank. All right, here we go. So take a look at this. I'm going to put the, the cricket inside his pinchers. Look, he's not even pinching down on it. He's just like, I don't want anything to do with that. Get it away from me. He's even closed them at this point. So yeah, I mean, they're not going to just pinch everything just because they're pissed off. Even though this one, you know, probably right now is not too happy, but look. I mean, that kind of goes to show you that they're not just out to pinch you and be super aggressive. So, I mean, I hope this video helps you get over some of those initial fears. They're really beautiful creatures. And I mean, just being able to take a picture with this thing is a really cool picture, a really cool opportunity. And holding them, it's like, they're pretty heavy and they're very, very hard. Their exoskeleton is really hard. But they have all these hairs around them, so if you do get near them, he'll know where you are. But even now, I can touch him, you know. I'm not going to exactly like it, but I'm not going to be super aggressive towards you. So no, I'll just kind of hold it for a little bit. Watch this video. If you're trying to handle your scorpion the first time, watch this, watch other videos, and just research the animal. The more information you have about the animal, the more comfortable you're going to be um, just interacting with them. The main thing that people fear is what they don't know. So just tell yourself, if I, worst case scenario, I do get stung, it's going to be, you know, a bee sting at worst. Although I'm not saying I want to get stung. I could put my finger in between the pinchers right here. I mean, he's going to react by going away. And this is sort of typical for this genus. Um, I would not suggest holding, you know, deadly scorpions at all. I know that this scorpion, if it pinches me or if it stings me, I'm going to be fine. It won't even be a hospital visit. It's, it's really nothing. But I mean, just watch this video. Look at what I'm doing. I mean, I'm kind of just trying to move them around a little bit just to get you some better idea of how they react when they're on your hand. So you can see he's not out to get me. He's really not. Like I can stroke him a little bit. I mean, don't test your luck too much. They do have stingers. They could sting you and it wouldn't be a fun time. See, look, now he's got his claws open. He's got his claws open. But that does not mean that he's going to pinch me if I put my finger in there. Let's see, I'm using a head mounted cam here. Let's see if I can. And I'll go show you them under the UV light too. Really cool how they react to UV light. So this is regular light. Looks just, you know, slight tint of blue maybe, but pretty much just black. And there's a red light and check that out. UV light. I mean, that's just incredible. Can they get two eyes right on the top? I think the two eyes, I'm not entirely sure. But the clearest chelicerae, those mouth parts on the front, which are pretty much like little pinchers in themselves, they just eat their prey whole and they are I mean, alive and they just kind of tear it apart little by bit by bit. You can tell the gender by um, some parts underneath it, but I really have not gendered this one. But yeah, I mean, these are really awesome creatures. And I think if you have one, you should hold it at some point. Just because, you know, you want to, I don't know, just feel what it's like. And it's just really cool. I haven't gotten mine to tong feed really all that much. Maybe like once or twice. So really, I just throw in crickets, mealworms, roaches and stuff in his enclosure. And I can tell that he's eating. He's getting a little bigger. But yeah, and then so to put them back, I'm just gonna kind of put this in its place. Put them back, it's a similar situation in terms of just putting your hand on the ground and letting it crawl off. 
You might need a little tool like this as well. Um, if you don't have anything like this, I'd say use, you know, a butter knife, something not sharp that it can't hurt them. You don't want to hurt your scorpion by handling it. Um, their legs can be somewhat delicate, so you want to be careful there. But yeah, just put them down and just kind of nudge them off. And there you go, that's it. I mean, I don't handle it too much, but I do it enough just so, you know, I'm used to it. And he's not, I guess, too threatened by me, although it's hard to get in the mind of arachnids in general. It's hard to know what they're thinking, but here, I'll show you one more time. Put the tool in front, back it up on your hand. Once it's on your hand fully, you're good to go. It's not going to run off your hand just randomly, usually, but if you do touch it, it will react. See, just then, I didn't even touch it, but its hairs felt me. So, gosh, they're just super cool. Back up, and I'm just gonna turn my hand over a little bit. There you go. Same thing, put him down, brush him off very lightly. I just barely need to touch him. And that's that. I mean, watch this video if you're trying to look to handle it. All I can say is that get over that initial fear, research the animal, know what you're getting into. But honestly, just watch some videos and go for it. And I had someone comment in my initial scorpion video about, you know, how do you do this? How do you overcome the fear? And basically, this is just what I told them. So I made this video in the efforts to anyone else wanting to handle their scorpion and they're just scared of it. They don't know what to do. Check this video out and hopefully it helps you guys. Um, maybe you want to try handling them at night. So at night, they're, no they're nocturnal. So at night, I'll see them crawling all around and it's easier to get to them. If they're inside, you know, a hide or something, you, you don't want to destroy your whole enclosure just trying to get to it. But other than that, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you like these kind of content, subscribe, like for more. Um, check out my other scorpion video. It's my best video so far. Um, just about how I set up this tank if you're interested. And other than that, thanks for watching.